No, don't stop filming. All right, I'm here with Jake from Dogma Korea. I'm hoping we don't get run over. It's too noisy in there, though, so right on the street. Uh, too many people just putting hot dogs in their mouths. Yeah, and uh, what do you do, sir? Can you tell us, why am I here talking to you right now? My For name's Jake. I make hot dogs. Uh, everything from scratch. I make the sausage, half beef, uh, half pork, and a sheep casing. Uh, very delicious on brioche buns. And, Every animal. Uh, really, really, my whole purpose in life is just to make uh, hot dogs actually delicious in Korea, right? There's none of these cheap wieners or, or cheap canned toppings. We make everything from scratch, and we do it with a sense of purpose. And, uh, you know, I, I like to say uh, we're the best hot dog on the peninsula. Bold claim. And what makes a good hot dog? What puts yours... I guess what puts yours above the rest, but also just generally, what makes a good hot dog? First of all, I think there are a couple things. First of all, you gotta have bun to sausage to topping ratios, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I roughly think the bun should be 30 to 40%, and then maybe 30% sausage, and then the rest of that is topping. Uh, don't check my math on that. I'm not sure how much the topping that would be. <laughs> Micro-analyze your hot dog. But also just uh, making sure that everybody of the hot dog is consistent. Because sometimes you get people, they chop these big ass hot dogs. They're going to get run over. They chop, these, they chop these chunky onions on there. And it's like, nobody likes it. I, I, I uh, brunois them very finely so that you everybody... Brunois. You're from Canada, right? I That's should know how to spell that. Brunois? Sure. B-R-U-N-O-I-S? Yeah, I think so. Anyway. Anyways, a <laughs> finely minced onion. Also, uh, you know, you, you can have classic things like a chili dog. That doesn't need to be messed with, but you can also invent new things like uh, kimchi dogs. Or uh, another one I did was like a pico de gallo with uh, pineapple in it. Right? I take care of the brunoise of the French part. What is pico de gallo for the non-Americans and non-Mexicans watching? Pico de gallo is basically, when you, it's like a fresh salsa that you dip chips in, so it's uh, onions, tomatoes, uh, cilantro, and in my case I add some uh, pineapple, and again, oh, everything's nice. uniformly cut so that every bite is the same, and you're not dragging a chunk of tomato off your dog. No offense to Chicago <laughs> dog people, never but there's too many... No offense to Chicago, but there's too many long uh, pieces of things on there, and it, I just in what sense? What do you mean? Well, they look, they'll put like a whole enough? slice of tomato, uh, okay. and it's like yeah, I right? guess. But then you got to really. They use don't put your ketchup incisors. on their dogs, but they'll put an entire tomato. on Which another thing too, ketchup does belong on hot dogs, right? The only thing that doesn't belong on hot dogs is hate. Stop hot dog hate. Stop uh, hot dog hate. Alright, so how did you get into this? Did you make hot dogs when you were back home? He's from Ohio. Did you do that back home in Ohio or did this start when you came to Korea and you couldn't find good hot dogs or what? Couldn't, how did this begin? Well, I mean, I've always been into food and liking food, but coming to Korea, I really got into making it for myself, trying to like get those flavors at home. Because you can't really get a good uh, like Northwest Ohio style uh, chili dog in Korea. So I started making the sausage myself, teaching myself all that. All in all, it took probably about a year to get the recipe to where I wanted it. And a lot of money and a lot of uh, hard conversations with my wife about why I need to buy more equipment. <laughs> Same with beer stuff. Yeah, yeah, I get it, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I, I just really was like, hey, there aren't a lot of great hot dog places. Since then, hot dogs seem to be kind of catching on in Korea. But we can thank this guy. I would say maybe it was coincidental timing, but I'm glad. I still think though a lot of these places kind of, uh, I don't know, they, they lack, they lack a spin that I can get. Uh, no, I don't want to say authentic. Uh, I want to say honesty. I want to make hot dogs because I, I want people to be able to actually know what a good hot dog is. Doing speed, great. Speed round. Okay. Chicago or New York? New York. Uh, toasted bun or non-toasted? Steamed. Okay. No. Favorite toasted. sausage? Favorite sausage? Like specifically oh. sausage. Mm, kielbasa. Nice. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, best city in America for hot dogs. And don't get like some weird small town no one's heard of. Try to pick like a You like my hometown? No. Uh, no, I'm gonna say my hometown. Which? I mean, we're uh, Toledo, Ohio. Ah, right. Uh, right. I mean, we're close to Detroit, but uh... It's... Is there a Detroit style hot dog? A Detroit style hot dog would what, be a Coney what, what, what is that? That would be uh, shredded cheddar, okay. uh, chili sauce, Onions, okay. finely minced. None of this chunky onion. I'm tired of it. You don't want to drag the onions and off then, when you're biting. And then mustard. Uh, and and you know the way you make a chili sauce, right? There's there's probably more like Detroit style, more Ohio style. 
Uh, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm from my hometown. We also have Tony Paco's, uh, Rudy's. We have just a whole bunch of hot Shout dog centric Rudy's. restaurants. Yeah. You can only eat mustard or ketchup on a hot dog for the rest of your life. Which one are you picking? And you can't say both. That defeats the whole purpose. You can't have both. You know, it, it would be both, but just because I, I want to antagonize people, ketchup. Fuck ketchup. You. Fuck you, Chicago. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Who cares? I don't care. Hot dog's a hot dog. 